I'd like to talk to you about gum disease, about periodontal disease, gingivitis, anything which has to do with inflamed and with, with infected gums, an infection, like a, you know, that yellow, reddish, ugly bus, which kind of one has sometimes uh, somewhere in the body. And that yellow, reddish, ugly bus is present in large quantity if a person has a gum disease. And um, the, 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 the mouth simply happens to be the gateways to the blood vessels. Basically, it trips into the blood vessels very fast. And what I do not understand is why most dentists keep saying, if you have gum disease, you will be losing your teeth. Totally true. I got that. Not bad, not good. I got that. Very expensive. I got that. You should keep your teeth. I got that. But in the process, losing the teeth might take two, four, six, and even 10 years. However, in that meantime, you're building up plugs in your heart and you might get a heart disease because of it. No doubt about it. It's known for a long time. You may get Alzheimer. You probably have colds and flus way more often than other people because your immune system is down. You may ruin your kidneys and your liver. And how the heck do you replace them? How it, this is not easy to fix those things. Ladies who are pregnant get premature babies underborn. How do you fix a, 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 a premature underweight uh, uh, baby? Um... So it looks to me that what is going happening the three to ten years till you lose your teeth is far more devastating than losing your teeth because at least you guys are pretty good with fixing teeth with implants and everything else. Uh, am I way off here? Tell me, Dr. No, Kimmel. No, you are not. You're absolutely correct. Gum disease is horrible. It's very bad. It slows down uh, your immune system. It slows down treatment of your uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, your heart problems, your kidneys, your liver, all, all the major organs, your blood, uh, because gum disease is, uh, is a bacteria that opens up the vessels for all other bacteria to go in into your heart, into your blood, into your uh, major organs. So you start to uh, go on a road where it's harder to fix your diseases. It's harder to keep your diabetes under control. It is, you know, it causes more uh, problems with uh, a bad smell, your tiredness, your headaches, your um, getting getting sick more often, like a cold or a flu or even uh, some allergies. So uh, gum disease should be under control. Uh, gum disease is sometimes number one cause of all those major problems. And uh, very, very, very important to uh, keep it under control, uh, to keep, basically, to keep your health under control. Right. You know, like they say, um, you know, heart disease builds up over a couple, two, three, and four decades. Well, the gum disease contributes to it building up. It's maybe not the and the only case, uh, but it's heavy contributing, as you said, with diabetes. Every Because an infection in the body, the body has, um, uh, obviously, it fights every illness and every infection. Well, just like with wars, you know, how many wars can the United States be in it and then start another one and has still have enough soldiers and enough money to fight it? The body can only have so many immune soldiers out there and if they're all used because a huge gum disease is here, that's not good. Tell me, when a, when a person, I heard that the gum disease, the infection in the, in, in the gum is very huge. Like, for instance, if a person has an infection on the skin, which is big like a, let's say, a, 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 a quarter or something like that, uh, you know, a, a, a dime. And if it doesn't go away, he probably goes to a dermatologist within a few weeks saying, oh, I have something here. Uh, uh, what's happening? As he should, as the person should. But in the gum, apparently, the gum disease, I have heard, is as big as your hand. Is that true? Yes, it is. And gum disease, it starts small for you not to see it first, but the, with time it goes bigger and bigger, and it's harder for you to treat. So it, it, that's why it's causing more problems. It lowers your immune system, which causes... Um, like uh, treatment of other diseases or treatment of your other um, problems uh, much harder. So it's, it's harder to prevent uh, 
all the flus and cold and all the diseases with gum disease because all your immune system is trying to fight that gum disease. And your gums become very bulbous, bleeding, ugly. Uh, you smile. And smelly, you all, smelly bar, probably too. Huh? Smelly, very smelly. And sometimes I, I've seen people with, they smile and the blood oozing down their gums. Okay. And it's not, not, not nice. And the immune system really goes down when it happens. Well, uh, let's talk about the MDs. You know, I, I think the MDs, I, and you tell me, uh, you know, from your experience, they're simply not in telling, they know that gum disease causes thing, uh, uh, heart disease and all that, uh, but they simply don't seem to be sending the average patients with a little bit of gum disease um, to the dentist. And they keep treating the other illnesses with whatever they treat them without handling one, not necessarily all of the causes. Uh, however, the surgeons, you know, the guys who do hip replacement or the guys who take a uh, Pendex out um, or, or your tonsils, those people over the last old decade or so have become much, much more aware of gum disease being a bad thing. I mean, they always knew that, let's just say, to take your Pendex out uh, if it's not super acute or something or to do a hip operation. Um, if you have, let's say, a lung infection, they wouldn't do it because you have an infection going on. Uh, they would not operate because they know that the uh, infection from the lungs or wherever you have it would go to wherever they cut and could infect that and or that the body is so weakened that if you cut it somewhere else, the body cannot stand it and again you create problems if not the patient dying. Now they knew that all the time but it's lately, the last decade or so, that they also pay huge attention to gum disease and they demand people to have a clean bill of oral health. They don't care about crooked teeth, they don't care about beauty, they don't care about cavities even, but they do want to have the gums healthy. Um, because if they are not healthy, they don't want to do your knee operation, they don't want to do your appendix. Uh, they might take out a bullet of your heart if you get in it, they might not ask for it then, but rather than that, they want a clean bill of oral health. Have you noticed that this is happening lately? Yes, I have. Um, even people with cancer, before they undergo the uh, chemotherapy, uh, they have to get uh, a clean, uh, clean checkup no. from, from a dentist, right? Because if there is a gum disease, they cannot go through chemotherapy because chemotherapy basically kills your immune system completely. So you have to make sure uh, there is no gum disease. You're right. So basically what, what we're talking here is real that simple. A gum disease will bring your immune system down and kill just about every major organ in your body and uh, every little storm, every little wind, just a little will cause you problems. You know? That's right. And, and, and you just don't want to have it, fix it. Uh, that's it. I, I had one dentist once telling me, you know, people think it's relatively normal if there's a tiny bit of blood when they brush and floss. They go, oh, it's just a little bit. They go, how would you feel if you comb your hair and you have a tiny bit of blood on your uh, on your comb when you take it down? Would you still feel the same way? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, what what makes you thinking that in there it, it, it is normal? No, that's absolutely right. It's not normal. It, it, you know, when you brush your teeth, the tiny bleeding and brushing, you have to run to the dentist and mention to the doctor, and it has to be taken under control because gum disease does create problems and um, to your organs. So you don't want to end up with a heart attack only because you didn't take care of your gum disease. Or, or, lo or lose your memory. Uh, about a decade, a, a, a decade or two too early, uh, it's just not. It's just not fun, you know. It's Good. not fun at all. Good. Well, it definitely looks like that the creator, whoever um, he or she was, um, you know, you know, we have this head, and he seemed to have put a lots of important things in there: the brain, the eye, the nose, uh, the ears. Uh, what makes us thinking that the teeth are any less important? He put a lots of important thing in there, and those it, it more and more it becomes obvious that obviously the whole body works in synergy, works together, and the teeth are really part of the big center. It's a it's a big cogwheel missing, and it will bring the rest of the body to a grinding halt if they if it's not okay in one way or the other way. Be it with the immune system, be it with headaches because it's out of alignments, 
uh, be it bad looking and nobody looks at you. It's just absolutely uh, uh, super important. Maybe you guys are like the center of the um, medical field and uh, nobody has simply noticed it yet. Maybe, maybe, but we're trying. All right. So, uh, thank you very, very much. Just very important. You're welcome. That's for sure. Very important for sure. Never mind whether it's the sender or not. Very important. That's for sure. Thank you very much.